Oh, it's like 2.30 in the afternoon. I've been up since 7 a.m. And I finally, finally get to sit down and eat something. Hey, 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 what's up y'all? It's me, Jenny here. Welcome to a brand new episode of how I try to find balance in my life as a mom. So, today, I want to talk about the things that diamond painters do, at least the ones that have YouTube videos, that I don't do. Now, okay, I'm not saying what they do is wrong. All I'm saying is what I do is different. And what I'm not doing is not right or wrong. What they're not doing is not right or wrong. It's just we do what we need to do that's right for us in the space and yeah like so before like you guys start talking about you know this person does that and this person does that just understand I'm not hating on anyone and it doesn't mean I'm not open to suggestions all it just means is that I've just noticed I do things a little bit differently than the next person and that's all that's all I want to say the first thing that I notice I do differently is I don't have my own drill pen. I don't even know why I did this because it doesn't need these things. But anyways, I don't have my own drill pen. Like I used the pen that came in the box and yeah, like I just use it. It's not uncomfortable for me and I find it comfortable especially when you add like one of these like squishy things that you get at the dollar store yeah like I, I got nothing against it I have nothing against it so yeah I'm simple like that I just use a normal pen that comes with my order the second thing that I don't do that I find a lot of diamond painters do which Sometimes I think I should do it, but the truth is I really don't have the patience for it is I count my drills. So, you know, like you get your order and you know, you look at the drills and then you match it with like the list that's there and you make sure that all the inventory is correct and you have the right amount of drills, you know, so you don't run into problems later. Listen, I don't have time for that. Like I don't and I certainly don't have patience for it I just go by the honor system and I just assume that they're all there the next thing that I haven't done and I really should also do too is use the multi-placer so gosh I feel like I'm back in like the beauty community again but these are multi-placers right here okay you know they place multiple drills at the same time and I don't use it. I have seen many people use it. I have seen numerous tutorials on how to use it. I didn't know there was a technique to it, but it, clearly there is one because there's so many videos on it. I haven't used it because I have this like fear that if I place the drills down with the multi-placer, the drills won't fit the canvas if that makes sense because drills come in different sizes and a majority of my orders come from China and like China is inconsistent in their quality so yeah I haven't used multi placers because I just don't want the hassle to have to take them off the canvas when I find out that they don't fit Another thing that I don't do, it's not that I don't do, I haven't done it, which I, again, I guess I also should, is working with square drills. Now, I know a lot of people love square drills. And it's not, I can't say whether I like it or I don't like it, and I really don't know why I'm holding this in my hand, but I'll just continue to hold it through the video because, you know, might as well keep consistent. I don't know why I haven't uh, used, no, no, you know what, I do know. I do know why I haven't used square drills. So when I started diamond painting, there was like this whole big thing in the community where square drills kept popping off. 
Now, I know fast forward to now, I know there's a lot of companies that have canvases with square drills, and I know square drills, I know the effect is a lot better, but I also know that it does take a lot longer to do. And because I mainly work with like huge canvases, I really can't be bothered using square drills. Don't get me wrong, I do own diamond paintings with square drills, I just haven't gotten around to it. The next thing that people do that a lot of diamond painters have, and I don't, and I think I'm like the only diamond painter that doesn't have it, well, I own it, but I don't use it, is my storage drill container. So a lot of people, they have like this huge clear container and inside they're like little clear tic-tac tic containers where you can put all your drills. I don't do that. I use a Ziploc bag and inside I have little Ziploc bags with the DMC number on it and that's what I use to store all my drills. This was my original storage idea when I first started diamond painting years ago and it really like I don't have a problem with this, what's it called, with this like system. I, I, I really don't, so I don't feel the need to fix it. The sixth thing that I haven't done is I did not keep my first diamond painting. I didn't keep it. And let me tell you why. So I was pregnant, I couldn't move. I went on mat leave early and I was looking for a crafty hobby and I saw diamond painting on YouTube and at that time was around Christmas time so you know like everything of whatever you can think of was flying off the shelves so I found a random diamond painting at Michael's and there was only two options they were both flowers and one was like roses and the other one was I believe like a black horse and they were both partial canvases I didn't like either of them I don't care for it's not that I don't care for horses but the horse was just black it was like three drill colors and that was it I didn't want my first experience to be three drills and then the other one I don't like flowers I am just not a flower person if you look at all my videos whether I, it's like a diamond painting unboxing or whether it's a paint by number unboxing You'll notice I don't order flowers at all. I don't care for them. I really don't. So, you know, I bit the bullet and I bought like, it was like red roses, I believe. And I just wanted to see if I liked it. And I was also looking for something to do and I was really desperate because I don't want to be bored at home till the day I gave birth. So I bought the rose diamond painting. And that's when I realized I enjoyed it but I really didn't like the picture so I gave it to charity when I was done with the canvas all right the next thing I don't know what number I'm on but I'm on number something the next thing that I don't do because I really don't have the patience to do this is keep a record book you know a lot of people will have a book and it'll say like where they purchased the painting from when they ordered it when it was shipped and how long it took to arrive and then they have like a little picture of the painting and they check off that page when the painting arrives and all the drills are there I don't have patience to do that I don't you know I do keep track of my packages and I have this thing where like it comes when it comes and I assume all the drills are there so that's just it like it comes when it comes and when it gets here is when it gets here I will put number eight and number nine together because I feel like it should be grouped together so the number eight and the number nine thing that I it's not that I don't do, I just really don't have a preference. I don't have a preference in 
the glue and I don't have a preference in the cover. So let's talk about the glue. There's two types of glue. There's like the adhesive where it's like a double-sided adhesive and then there is the poured glue. Now everyone knows, I know it too, that the poured glue is better. I get it. I don't mind poor glue, but that doesn't stop me from not buying a painting that is double-sided adhesive. Like, truthfully, they pack the canvases so well now that even on a double-sided adhesive painting, it doesn't ruin in transit anymore. I feel like whoever works, wherever they are, they have probably probably been packing canvases long enough to like figure it out when it comes to the diamond painting cover so you know you open up your diamond painting and there's like a flap of either like like a piece of paper a strip of a piece of paper or like film uh, not film like I guess like it's like saran wrap like a plastic film I preferably like I really don't care which one I get and I know there are people out there that are picky and you know they like that that piece of paper and if the painting comes in with that plastic wrap or not wrap on it I don't know what is wrong with me if the painting comes in with the plastic wrap on it they will take it out and they will replace it with either like parchment paper or some sort of paper I don't care I'll take it either way I'm not picky and finally, the 10th thing that I don't do, and I'm glad I don't do it, but it takes a lot of restraint on my end, is multiple projects. I have one project going on, like physical project happening in my home when it comes to diamond painting and even paint by numbers. I will only have one going. And the reason for that is that if I have multiple projects going, I will get so anxious and then I'll be so overwhelmed that I'll not I will not want to do any of the other projects. Like <laughs> let's get real here. A lot of crafty people, a characteristic of them, me included, is to start a project but never finish it right thumbs up if you're with me because I'm like that I used to be like that now I don't do that I do one painting and it'll be either a canvas painting or a diamond painting I will only do one project at a time that doesn't mean in my head okay that doesn't mean in my head that there are multiple projects don't get me wrong I have probably a hundred thousand projects going on in my head but in the physical space where I live in there's only one happening because I don't need to add any more anxiety and feel overwhelmed in my home than I already do because this freaking pandemic brought on so much anxiety and there you have it those are the 10 things that I don't do that other diamond painters do Comment down below and let me know what you do that you find that other diamond painters do or don't do or whatever. Anyways, thank you so very much for watching my video. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe all down below or you can catch me on all my social media which is right here. That's a kiss Jenny. That's spelled kiss dot Jenny. Jenny with an IE. Or if you want to subscribe to my channel, click on my face right here or if you want to catch me in my last video click right here. I upload videos every Thursdays and I will see you on my next video. Bye! -bye.